largest recorded storm surges in U.S. history was generated by Hurricane Katrina in August 2005. The surge of more than 25 feet entered the confluence of the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet and Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, overtopping and collapsing a 4,000-foot-long levee section, causing widespread flooding, massive destruction, and death in New Orleans and surrounding areas. Confronting this historic disaster required an equally historic engineering response more than four years in the making, the new Inner Harbor Navigational Canal Surge Barrier is a breathtaking concrete and steel defense against any future Katrina-like assault. At 26 feet tall and nearly two miles long, the new structure is the largest storm surge barrier in the world and the largest civil works design build project in U.S. Army Corps of Engineers history. It is built to withstand a once in a 100 year storm surge. The exterior perimeter where we fought the surge was right in the backyards of people's businesses and people's homes. And so one of the thought processes that we had to go through was how can you move that perimeter back? How can you fight the surge further away from downtown New Orleans? And so we picked this location for a couple of reasons, uh, but it's approximately 12 miles outside the center of the city. So where you used to have uh, an external perimeter that was an 11 foot high flood wall, now you have an external perimeter that is a 26 foot high surge barrier. It is a significant increase in the risk reduction for the Greater New Orleans area. Extending across a wide marsh from the Gulf outlet to the Gulf waterway, the barrier is reinforced by more than 1,200 concrete cylinder piles, each 66 inches in diameter 144 feet long and driven to depths up to 230 feet. More than 600 angled steel batter piles on the backside further fortify the barrier's Category 5 hurricane-resistant strength. Three gates in the massive structure allow vessel passage, a concrete barred swing gate, and a buoyant sector gate, both 150 feet wide and weighing more than 675 tons per leaf as well as a 56-foot-wide vertical lift gate. One of the most significant challenges we had to overcome were the soils provided in the location we needed to provide the protection to the city. There's 70 feet of alluvial deposits. The upper portion of the soil has no strength. So we needed a pile-supported foundation. We needed to clearly and accurately know the capacity of the soil which required an extensive soil boring program and geotechnical program. But the pace and schedule of the project required that we begin design procurement of materials before that work was done. We provided the design for a structure that is resilient, robust, and very strong. The Lake Bourne Surge Barrier stands as a truly remarkable triumph of engineering achievement that vastly enhances safety and security for the residents of New Orleans.